my name is Kay. I'm a poet and a writer and on this channel I do reactions to K-pop videos, specifically lyric reactions and breakdowns. And I started watching It's Okay Enough to Be Okay, which I'm really loving so far. I'm like halfway through still. And I was just looking up other things the lead actor was in and uh, it's one of the IU music videos that you guys told me to look at. Once again, I am late to this party, but I got here. So ending scene by IU featuring the actor from the show I'm watching. I don't remember his name. I just started watching it. I was like, I'm not okay. I need to watch this. Not for any like reasonable reason at all, but I really like it so far. And I don't believe this is gonna have anything to do with that, but I'm very excited to see what it's all about. So ending scene by IU. I know this is one of the ones that's been recommended to me. I feel like it wasn't there like three that you said were together and this was one of them. My ankle is still not healed. I haven't been walking for three weeks at this point. Yeah, <laughs> I'm behind on everything is so hard right now. You'd think one of the things I'd keep up with is like comments and what videos you recommend. No, this has fallen by the wayside like everything else. So we're back and we're gonna watch ending scene. And if there was a, if there was like a three part series for this one, remind me and I'll get back to them. I just have this feeling like there was and I'm missing something, but let's jump on in. high school students there. Okay, so it was like a prom scene then at the end there was what it was meant to look like. At the beginning, sorry. You're true. Let's see. Hi, it's been a long time. Your true voice without a question. Like it's a rule, your spot is always by the door. So you're always trying to leave or you've never quite fully stepped into the room? Ooh. <laughs> Should have known better with an IU song. Ah, uh, okay, wait. So it seems like he's always the one making the first move. He's always the one like coming on to her and it's all this like cutesy, I mean the moment where they were floating was so cute. Oh, and there's all these like cutesy elements to this memory, but then it's constantly like reversing and breaking and falling apart. So she's talking about it in the song on the side of like after he's broken up with her, but all of the memories are all of the times where he made the first move. Girl, this is so relatable, especially high school. And all of a sudden is stuff that he said. Man, this is, this one is kind of hitting me. So the things he said then, eat well, it will all pass. Which I believe this is, this is like a phrase in Korean then. That that's, there's a, like a greeting that is just like, have you eaten today? And I think eat well, 
telling somebody to eat is really like a way of saying that you care about them. That, that it's more of that kind of connotation than just simply like have a sandwich, which is very rude in English. So she's at least remembering all this as her being very careful, her being very like unsure, and him always being the one to take it a step further. And then to be the one to break up. I hate that. Boys, especially in high school. <laughs> especially when you're young. You'll end up sleeping well again. I know she's known for having insomnia. I will sincerely pray for you. And he goes in for the kiss. You deserve to be happy. This cutest scene in the entire world where they're both floating. Then the reverse again. She says, please don't say that. Her face never trusts him in this, huh? Ah, there's no tissues in this room right now. I should have thought of that. I should have. I should know better. You know that it hurts more to hear that. And then him being sad and her going back for him. You told me you'll love me. What is this? Yeah, what is this bullshit? Leaving me. How you leave are you? You will never know what feelings you've caused me to feel. Yeah, because she's being like really cautious this whole time. And then he's like, no, the love, the love, the love. She's like, okay, I trust. I love you back. And then he brings it all down. It's totally what's going to happen. Jerk. So they're also kind of like puppets there. In that prom scene at the end, they're, they're tied up like puppets. Wait, so they're like literally cutting each other down here. We'll just have to go back through the lyrics because, oh my god. As much as you were lonely, I hope you find someone who will love you more than you love yourself. Like accusing you of being a narcissist? I'm sorry it wasn't me. It's not easy to give my heart to you. He says after leading the charge at every moment. Please don't say that. Yeah. Freaking don't say that. That's mean. I'm trying to be gentle. Like, just be honest. If you're leaving someone, be honest with them at least, right? You know it hurts more to hear that. You told me you'll love me. What is this? You'll never know what feelings you caused me to feel. Will you please be honest with me? You know I believe your every word. Let's start from around here because at first he was trying to help her like cut her bangs, which is very <laughs> dangerous, <laughs> but she trusted him so much there. And now they're like literally they're up floating as puppets and they're cutting each other down, which is definitely a metaphor for cutting each other down with words, right? But they've got scissors to cut the strings. And then he's falling. Let's just watch that part again.
Oh, okay, wait, before she cuts her down, stuff down completely. So like you said, one day, will I be loved by someone who is like me? So he didn't even finish cutting her down then. She cut him down and let him fall away, which seemed to be what they wanted, right? But then she's left having to do it to herself, which is so cruel. Man, ugh. No, you guys, not okay. <laughs> um, of course, trust I you to bring the feelings back out. I feel like I've been numb for a little while. Like I listened to some songs that probably would have made me cry during a part where I was real numb. And now I feel like I'm all emotional again. I'm gonna go like eat something sweet and feel better about life. Um, please let me know anything about this. Does <laughs> it make you cry too? How come my you keeps making me cry? It's because she's such a beautiful songwriter and just like, the part, like, like, please don't say things like that. I don't know, like, she just always seems to know the heart of the issue in a way and say it in a way that's just like, yeah, that's exactly what it's like. That's exactly how it feels. Um, That's exactly the kind of thing that happens that sucks. And that music video then is like the contrast and showing the different, like, it's just, it's beautiful and heartbreaking. I need to finish watching the rest of that show too because he's real cute. Anyway, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe. Check out the other IU songs I've cried through. Cried through so many of her songs. Uh, it's just because she's such a good songwriter, honestly, and I'm an emotional person. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you again really soon. I post videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and sometimes Saturdays. Uh, my ankle's healing, but I, I three weeks I haven't been able to walk. So, all right, talk to you soon. Bye.